Hi there, my lovelies. This is Jana here. Welcome to my kitchen. So today, something, whoops, <laughs> something exciting, uh, easy to put together, a little bit unusual because of the combination of ingredients, but uh, nonetheless, the ingredients are um, easy to reach because uh, that's the main thing on this channel, okay? So we're going to make uh, small protein balls or bars using nuts and yogurt, vegan yogurt, of course. So I'm so excited. Let me show you how I put it together. All right, for this recipe, we're going to use nuts. In this case, I'm using raw peanuts, skinless, to which I'm going to blend until they're almost like flour, so they're finely crushed. Now, about the nuts, I want to point out something here. I am using my raw peanuts, again, my doggy drinking water. It's really, really hot here today. I mean, ridiculously hot. Now back to the recipe. I am using raw peanuts because my raw peanuts, they are about to go bad, okay? Which wasn't such a great decision on my part because for this recipe, the star of this recipe are the nuts. So whatever type of nuts you're choosing, make sure that they're fresh. Otherwise, they're going to have that uh, aftertaste of a um, rancid taste. You know what I mean? Not good. So... Again, I have added peanuts because I have them laying around in my fridge. However, however, you gotta really, really love peanuts because on this recipe, they because like I said, they're the star ingredient in this recipe. On this recipe, they're going the taste is going to be really prominent. So my advice is to mix a lot of different pe uh, nuts. I'm sorry, or to use one or two of your favorite nuts. All right, it doesn't have to be peanuts. Your choice. Now. Uh, since we have blended, now we're going to add it to a bowl and then add unsweetened cocoa powder, maple syrup or agave, and vegan yogurt. What type of vegan yogurt? Well, in my case, I'm using mango yogurt. I mean, whatever you choose, okay? It doesn't have to be the um, um, flavor. Um, oh my God, <laughs> today <laughs> I'm a little bit burning that. It's the, it's the heat. I am dripping as we speak because I can't have the air conditioner on because of the noise. So <laughs> if one day you have doubts about how much I love you, this is the proof. So add that in and now you're going to mix with your hands because they're your best tools until they achieve this consistency. And then we're going to form oil your hands so they don't stick to your hands. We're going to form little discs or balls or bars, whatever you choose. And we're going to coat them with a dry coconut, but it can be whatever, like a sugar, you can do that with sugar. They're going to be a little bit sweeter and it's going to kind of defeat the purpose because this is like a high protein, uh, no sugar added type of a recipe. But if that's your choice, I mean, go for it. You can use oatmeal flour, coconut flour, I mean, you can do, or nothing, or nothing, or coat them with uh, pure chocolate. How about that? So, and then you put them in the fridge so they firm up, although they're going to be pretty firm. Poppy is approaching, she gets really crazy when I'm filming, I don't know why. Maybe she gets jealous, I don't know. She's like bowling me right now, I wish I could film her. And I would if it wasn't so messed up the background. Oh well, let's go back to the recipe. So, uh, <laughs> that's the ADD, the ADHD kicking in, you're gonna see that a lot on this channel, so get used to it. So, and that's it. This is a fantastic recipe for those uh, small little bites because sometimes you guys, you guys complain, oh my, my God, Jenna, this is too sweet, too much sugar. Okay, this is sugar less for you. Doesn't mean that it doesn't have sugar, but the sugar that it has are natural sugars, okay? So it's so good, so good, so good. Hold on a second, I have them here with me. I had it here with me and I do eh, oh my god let me tell you something you can um, freeze them okay separate them and then freeze them and then uh, once they're frozen you put them in a bag but careful with the with the coconut so I don't be careful with anything just freeze them okay and they are so 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 good they will last up to 10 days in the fridge so my advice for you is uh, if you're gonna use that because you just want a, a protein boost during the day, separate the ones that you're going to have during the week so you don't have uh, them uh, getting dry on the fridge. Once you put them on the fridge and um, 
in a pot with the lid, okay? In a lidded pot so they don't, don't get dry. We don't want that. And um, keep the rest in the freezer. And then once you want them, you um, thaw them out. And then that's it. So how about this recipe? Don't you love it? I love it. I love it. Okay. So let me know if you love it in the comments below. This is it for today. I hope you have enjoyed it. I certainly did. And um, fall salivating follow me on my social media it's going to be over here the recipe the full recipe description quantities and everything is going to be in the description box under the video and the printable recipe on my website sometimes it's a one two days delay but it's going to be there and uh, please follow me on this channel and like this video and subscribe to my channel like i just said because i'm repeating myself see you next week Bye bye